Hey everyone, it's Becky and welcome to my New York City subway build. So this is actually a job. I am going to upload it as a job to the Mad.io website and you can try and complete it hopefully. I really try to make the job aspects of it a little easier than my um, he who has no life job. You know, I tried to make sure all the dirt and the grime is easily accessible and the trash didn't like go into a random spot that you can actually reach. So if you do the job, let me know and let me know if you run into any issues and I can try and fix them and re upload the job. But anyways, this build turned out so fun. I really enjoyed this idea and it was a lot of fun to execute it. So this is what the subway area looks like and then I also have an upper street level portion with some job aspects up there as well. So I guess we'll start in this outer portion first and then we can actually look into the subway cars. So right here are the stairs leading up to the street level so we'll go there later. But um, first of all we have the exit sign up here. This is for downtown in Brooklyn. I'm no subway expert. Um, I've never been on a New York City subway, but I tried to add in the different signage and stuff to make it look more realistic down here. As you can see, we have tons of trash. The um, trash cans are overflowing grimy old bench. Um, you have to sell that and buy a new one. All that fun stuff. I have the House Slipper 2 poster right there. I did like the different tiles here on the walls and then up here and I have the fluorescent lights and I have some pipes up there to make it look more industrial. Broken bottles right there and then a map of the New York City subway. And then I did a couple big pillars here in the middle of the area along with some more um, pipes. And then we come over here. Right here is my payphone that I made out of chipboards, a carpet piece for the part that says phone, and then just some wall pieces. And then the little phone inside of there. Definitely love those little things that make it more of a fun build. Right here I have another overflowing trash bin, another grimy bench, some newspaper, and then a House Super 1 poster. Lots of stains up on the ceiling, on the floor. We even have some little rat footprints ready to go get that pizza box over there, see if there's any leftovers. And then up on the ceilings as well, so make sure you don't miss any. Before I forget, there is a cute little secret area that you have to find during this job. I'm not going to show it in this video. You have to go do the job yourself to find it. So then next we have the men and women's bathrooms. We'll go in the women's room first. There's a little leak under the sink right here you'll have to clean up, some scratches. But I think the stalls themselves are pretty clean in here, thankfully. Make sure you get all those paper towels from there. And then the men's room has some footprints coming out of it. Ew. And they're definitely a lot more dirty in here. Especially this stall. I'm sorry. You'll have to clean that up. But yeah, super simple little bathrooms in here. I made these stall doors out of chipboards. I think they turned out nice. So now we have the actual subway cars. I have two right here that you can go in and out of. It's looking pretty spooky back here. I extended it out a little ways. And I used some of these beams here and made them metal to kind of look like the... Um, subway car train tracks. As you can see I did the nice yellow strip here for like the caution so you don't fall into the gap. Um, I have the watch the gap little um, thing there on the floor as well. So these are my subway cars. I made the doors out of chipboards and windows right there. I think they turned out really cool looking. They look like they're actually you know sliding out. Did a little graffiti. Got some nice like striping right there to make them look a little fancy. And then we can go inside. Here they are. So I made a bunch of advertisements to put up on this upper portion. I think it turned out so great. In here, these are all like vintage ones. I found a website showing a bunch of vintage um, ads. So I did all this in this car. A couple more right there. And then these ones are just regular like safety ones. I have these same ones up in the other car as well. And then I have the little like digital signs that tell you the next stop. So I have one right there and one in the front of the car. I just use these nice benches here for the seats. I have some poles and some of these little accessibility um, railing things. Or the railings and the poles for people if they're standing. Obviously there's some dirt and trash in here you'll have to clean up as well. Got a full pizza box there and some graffiti. I like these MTA posters I found. I think they're like from post-pandemic. They had these big poster um, advertisements for. And then I have a do not hold door sign up above the door and a little emergency button. <laughs> so yeah, that is it for this train car. And then if you want to be in this car instead, you can head on in here. Got those same safety posters there. Another one of those New York's making comeback posters and lots of various um, more current um, advertisements up there. There may even be one for my own building with Becky Chandler right there. <laughs> again, more grime. We got the railings again and some trash all over the floor. 
including a spilled whiskey bottle. Not good. But yeah, that is it for the second drink car. And then this one back here is not accessible, but I just tried to build it out a little bit to make it look like it is extending out that way. So yeah, I think this is it for the whole subway lower level portion of this build. I really like it. I think it looks like a pretty true subway. The only thing I don't actually have is like the little ticketing area that you kind of have to go through in order to get into this area, but that's okay. So now we will exit. I again have the little yellow caution line there at the top of the steps. Got some more graffiti and dirt in here, a commuter safety poster, and now we can head up to the streets. So this is what my subway entrance looks like. They've got the nice like green coloring to it, the green lamp post. I think this looks very realistic and I really like how it turned out. Got the railings, the little upper building, some graffiti. Oh no, they graffitied over my other poster. You'll have to clean that up too. But yeah, if we also have a mailbox and I tried to extend out to the street here to make it look like an actual city street. Got it, even got a nice curb right there. And then right here, I have my little bus stop. I wanted to use up some of the like different street signs we have in the game. So I have my bus stop sign. Just have a bench in here with a couple of advertisements and then some more trash and grime, of course. And then over here, I did a thing that I like to do sometimes, a little facade. So these whole buildings are a facade. Um, you can just like, be, like barely walk into here and then try to make it look like a 7-Eleven in this one. Got another payphone right there. This one is looking like a laundromat, so you can look in there and see all the machines and everything. Kind of hard to find a good picture to use for these two, but my next one over here, a bookstore. This looks pretty good. This is an in-game sign for the Frog and Crayfish bookshop, but this was definitely a really good picture to use for this. It looks quite 3D and realistic, I think. And then I put out a couple like sale books perhaps out here, just for a little extra something. So yeah, make sure you pick up all this trash out here. And then over here, I made it look like a little construction zone. So you'll have to clean up this rubble, um, sell the cones, all that good stuff. And then I have a little secondary part of the job. So I have this little building here that you're going to help make into a coffee shop for me. I did a lot of the main stuff in here. You are just going to, let's see, I think you're going to obviously sell and um, get rid of all the stuff that's in here right now. But then you'll have some like chairs and tables and stuff to put inside of here. Just a little extra something out on this main street level. I thought that'd be fun to do. And then lastly, more trash, of course. And then I just have a little building right here that again is a facade. I think it all looks pretty cool, though. I just wanted to make it look into a really nice street corner. Have a nice um, like a mural right there, that wolf type of thing. Another street sign, a couple of street lights, and again, the nice subway entrance right here. So yeah, that is it for my New York City subway job build right here. Like I said, this was a lot of fun to build. I really like the lower basement building aspect of the game. I think it's really fun to be able to build underground and make a subway like this. Let me know what you guys think of the job if you do it, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!